we always want to know what is the next step in our life to be able to free ourselves from the sufferings and from the conditionings of this material world. Being born in this world, we grow old. We have the aging, we have the disease, and finally there's death. So if you consider that situation, you may say that living in this world is an emergency situation. But besides that, there's an incredible amount of ignorance in relation to what a man can do and should do to be happy and to be successful. Most people really think that you can buy happiness. So they work hard. They sometimes do even illegal things to gain more money so that they can enjoy more so that they can buy more things. And in this way, they're increasing their entanglement in this material world. So the question what is right and what is wrong is something which comes towards every single one of us. And now for giving you some practical advice in the science of self-realization, I want to review with you a few recommendations I have for you on this journey. The first and foremost is that we have to keep ourselves in the realm of compassion. If we want compassion, if we want realization of love and peace, we can't be aggressive, we can't be violent, we can't cause the suffering to other living beings conscientiously and unnecessarily. So, of course, you can imagine I'm referring to our food we intake. It should be the most healthy and most non-violent food possible. And that's a vegetarian or vegan diet. And even a higher consciousness can be achieved when the food before you eat it, you offer it to God. You make a thanksgiving ceremony just to get your consciousness clarified and to understand, I didn't produce that food. That food was provided to me by grace. And therefore, I should choose that food to offer to God which is not causing any pain to others. And even if you have a trouble to understand and to accept the term God here, then you could still accept that the welfare of our planet is the priority. And for the welfare of our planet, which is our mother nature, our mother earth, we neither can afford the violence which is giving so much trouble to every living entity. So the yogi's diet is a diet of nonviolence, a diet of higher consciousness, a higher taste. And if you start eating that way, you will also immediately see what kind of a change will take place inside of you in your consciousness. Because yoga and spirituality, it's all about consciousness. What kind of consciousness we have? What is our approach to our own mind, to our essential demands, to our uh, incessant amounts of desires which are pouncing upon us again and again throughout our life. So the yoga process gives us a very nice guideline that we can control our mind by invoking the presence of benedictions, to create a sanctuary, to invoke the mantras, the divine names, which will change your consciousness, change your uh, existence, give you strength, give you hope, give you something such a wonderful thing that from then on when you start working in the, the direction of your spiritual achievements you will be very very happy to consider that you have become a non-violent eater you have become a person who loves the animals and those who i love my friends i should not eat them that's a simple conclusion we are gaining here from this type of consideration. The consciousness of a vegetarian is so much more uh, flexible to understand that we should not cause sufferings to the animals and of course not to the human beings. So you can understand that if somebody is conscientious about the animals then most likely he'll also be more careful about his relationships with his family, friends, neighbors, etc. 